Hello and welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video. I guess you haven't heard that for quite a while. And today I want to talk about Cambridge's response to the exam leaks in 2025. So if you haven't heard already, Cambridge have released a statement saying exactly what they're going to do about the exam leaks that, or the possible exam leaks that have happened. So I'm going to read through their statement and I'm going to give you my raw thoughts about it and my opinions and let's see what you think about it and whether it's a fair action that Cambridge have taken. Okay, so this is the statement that Cambridge have out on their website and it concludes their investigation of the leaked exam questions. So uh, by the looks of it, they're not going to be doing anything else than what they put out in the statement. Now, the first part of this is essentially saying how rigorous they are in terms of protecting those exams and their approach to exam security. I'll put a link to the uh, link here so you can see exactly this and you can read this in your own time. But I won't get to the main part of this video, which is the allegations of leaks in the June 2025 series. So thank you for essentially talking to Cambridge and saying about your concerns about the exam leaks. Um, they say it's clear there are malicious attempts to undermine the exams and to disturb and upset candidates and attempts to scam money from candidates in exchange for fake papers. This is something to be aware of if you find someone online that happens to have this particular paper. It's usually a scam. There are predictive papers. I certainly do my own predictive papers. Many uh, YouTubers do also do their own predictive papers as well. They're perfectly fine. But again, watch out for those scammers. So they have found some evidence of malpractice. So they found some cheating going on and it's for three exam papers. And it's only actually for maths A-level and computer science A-level. Specifically for us here, we're talking about the paper one, two, where one question was leaked before the exam was taken. And for the four, two, so the mechanics paper, where parts of two questions were leaked before the exam was taken. So that's the evidence they have of this cheating. I'm slightly skeptical about this, to be quite honest, because if they're going to leak one question, then why wouldn't they try and leak the entire paper if they have access to it? But this is what they got evidence of. Again, if you've got your own opinions on what you think about it, then please do let me know in the comments below. So in these three cases, so in paper one, two, and four, two, again, if you did variants one or three uh, instead, then this doesn't affect you, but it does if you do the variant two. Now they'll mark the papers as usual, as it says here, but they'll discount the question shared in advance. So basically for that question in paper one, two, they'll give full marks to everybody. So I give full marks to everybody, whether they think the person cheated or not. They just give full marks to everyone. Now, that generally is going to obviously push up the grade boundaries, because usually some people don't do that well on the question. Some people do well on the question. So basically, that moves everybody's marks up. And unfortunately, that has the effect that for the grade thresholds, essentially will also go up to match that as well. So this is not the most ideal situation. For example, in mechanics, say you knew those two questions really really well those questions essentially discounted which is unfair to those students that have done well on that particular question again it hasn't said which question it is as well that's being leaked which is kind of frustrating that could give us a bit more information um, in all three cases of these investigations they've uncovered the source of the leaks that's really good news and they're taking action against those who stole the papers so notice they've said here who stole the papers, not specific questions. So that obviously leads into the comment I made earlier. OK, what's happened? Is there any leaks of any other questions? Um, so they've got the county director from Pakistan here specifically um, talking about this, about dishonest people within Pakistan. So it's kind of uh, given as evidence here that this has happened in Pakistan specifically within the variant to paper. And again, you've got this comment here as well. So that's the news here that essentially paper one, two and four, two parts of it were leaked. So at least that's what they can prove. Um, personally, I don't find that particularly uh, helpful. I don't know. That leaves open other questions about other questions on the paper. But this is the evidence that they have found and they have acted on it in the best way that they can. Um, I'm kind of relieved for you out there that I haven't had to like in Pakistan resit the paper. That would have been obviously much more stress for you. And it should be more or less fair because they're assessing you on that paper and ignoring the so-called leaked question here as well. Um, so just A of mathematics. So IGCC mathematics, they haven't found any evidence of malpractice, which is a good sign. Obviously, I'm 
mostly IGCSE, you also do A-level as well. So that's great for you out there. So uh, what do you think about Cambridge's statement? Are you happy with what they have said? Um, what should they do in the future to make sure that these papers do not leak? We obviously had the situation last year as well. And if you want to get my thoughts on exam leaks, generally speaking, and why they're so damaging, then please do check out the video right in front of you.